Okay, just a small explanation on how to program these multi-coin coin collectors. Um, so we're going to hold the bottom two buttons till an A is displayed. So we go into programming mode and we press the enter button. It will display an E. The E is for the amount of coins you need to program. In our case, it's a one rand and a two rand. So we'll click on two. And we click next, we'll get H1. H1 is for coin number one. The first option is for the amount of times you want the coin to pass through. In our case, we'll use 10, which is a safe number, and we click next. Then P1 is the amount of triggers you want the coin to send. In our case, the run one rand will be one trigger. We set it to one. We click next. Next is sensitivity. Recommended sensitivity is between six and 10. We'll set ours to six, and we click next. Now it's displaying H2 for the second coin. So we'll pass this one through 10 times, just like we did the first one. We click next. P2 is now for our trigger once again. The two rand, we want to have two triggers. So we set that to two and we click next. F2 is for sensitivity. We'll set this for six as well. And then you should get a bunch of flashing lights. And that's remembered your configuration. Now you need to pass the coins through. So we'll do that by pressing the enter button twice till it displays A1 and we pass our coin through a total of 10 times Once it's done, it will display A2 that is for your second coin we pass our second one through 10 times Once that's done, we'll get flashing lights and a reset back to zero. We can now power down the coin reader and power it back up. And now our coin reader is set for a one rand single trigger and for two rand double trigger.